This is David, W901Y. I'm going to install GIMP on a Raspberry Pi Model 4. I use GIMP for image processing and to create titles on the YouTube videos. So we go here to Add Remove Software. Type in GIMP Return. GIMP is Graphical Image Manipulation Program. I've used it for many years. Here we go. Go ahead and click on it. There's lots of other plugins and additions. But if I know we can use the same main program here, fine. Let's visit the website. Here's the releases. 2.10.12. How are we here? Oh, 210.8. Oh, well, that's back in 2018, November. Not too bad. It's not like in some cases the repository is years old. Okay, so we'll close this out. We'll look at the required packages. Quite a few, but again, the package manager will take care of the install process for us. Dependent packages. Uh, quite a few. Okay, we'll go ahead. A side note, I've got a Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus, and I have found that the repository is quite a bit different between the two. For example, the program GQRX is up to date when I'm doing the add remove software for a Raspberry Pi Model 4. If I go to the Raspberry Pi Model 3B Plus, it is quite old and still doesn't work. So, that really caught me by surprise that the repository is very different between the models of Raspberry and um, Pi. I would expect the Raspberry Pi 4 not to be all that different than Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. But I was mistaken. So let's start the uh, process here. We're going to say on. We're going to see the, our normal who, let's see, password. Okay, get that started. It's not too bad. 5.6 megabytes. And primarily right now with the YouTube videos. I use it to create the titles to the YouTube video. And then I put that into OpenShot. And that uh, fundamentally is the main video. And the main video is usually done by VOKO screen. We can see up in the top corner, VOKO screen is doing a video recording of the full screen here. Okay, it looks like we've got our install. There's lots of other things that can be installed or look at. Uh, here's some documentation. Yes, documentation. Documentation. Let's get the English. Overlook that. I always overlook the English. So let's go ahead and apply that. Notice it didn't ask me for my uh, password. If it's a uh, SUDO type super user do. Usually, if you enter the password, it's good for 10, 15 minutes before you have to enter it again. Okay, so we're cleaning up here and 
that way when we select the documentation we will see it okay let's um we're all done good here let's go ahead and say okay and of course one of the things i found in past experiences things sometimes operate differently and we're going to go ahead and do a reboot here we are after the reboot of installing gimp let's go ahead and probably find it under graphics so here's our gimp fox we'll go ahead and launch it usually when you launch gimp it requires a bit of setup the first time so those will take a bit of time one of the nice things about GIMP is that it supports the layers okay here we go GIMP is operational and uh, we have our tools on this side and so forth so this is David W-A-9-O-N-Y 73 and QRT